Hi, welcome to Corey's Makes, Reviews, and Whatnot. This is my first video for this channel. So I thought I'd start by just talking about the equipment that I'm going to be using. I really like the optics of this place, but wow, the, the birds are loud. Hopefully you all can hear me all right. It'll be a good test for my digital audio recorder. So up here at the tippity top, we have my Sony Handycam, relatively inexpensive camera. It is the HDRCX405. I'll put a link to it on Amazon in my description. It is perched on a Magnus VT350 tripod. This thing is huge. I'll put the exact dimensions in the written description along with a link to it on Amazon. My digital audio recorder is this Tascam right here. It is the DR40. It is hooked to the Fifine mic system K037B. What I'll try to do is put in a little bit of audio directly from it versus directly from my camera. It, I actually have two of them. I'm using the Lavalier mic. And you can see it came with a headset as well. That's what's sitting on top of the box there. I just have some rechargeable batteries and a battery charger. I think when I bought the Tascam, the digital recorder, it came with the unopened battery charger there, the little Vivitar tripod. I also purchased this Cheerwing drone. It is the CW10. I wouldn't call it a professional piece of equipment, but it's a neat little toy, but it has a camera on it. It doesn't record any audio. Sitting next to it is the Alcatel Pop 7 tablet. I got that from T-Mobile and I use that as the remote control for my drone. I'm sure that one of these days I'll show a video of it being actually used. Uh, this is just a box for the Handycam. I'll probably splice in some video from the Handycam. It's just up there on the tripod pointing down at my tablecloth at the moment. Mr. Duck here, we haven't decided on his name. But uh, he's going to be the mascot of one of my other channels, so I thought I'd go ahead and show him sitting here. He's sitting on top of a Vivitar 980 tripod. I picked this up at a thrift store for $5. You can see it was marked $8.99. I think I paid $4.50 for it, actually, because it's missing its quick-release plate. So I can't really place any equipment on it directly yet. However, I do have a generic brooder lamp. That word brooder is because it, it, if you put the right kind of bulb in it, it's used to hatch chicken eggs. But I can clip it right here and let it sit right here and I can use that for extra lighting when I need it. I think that's, oh, I almost forgot to tell you about my point of view camera. This is my point of view camera. If its battery wasn't dead, I would be wearing it right now. Speaking of dead batteries, my phone's dying, so I'm going to have to cut this short. But that's the rundown of what I have, and I'll see how well I can edit this into a usable video. If you're watching, thanks for watching. I thought it would be a shame to be at a park like this and now I get some really good video of the river. This is that Magnus tripod I told you about. It has a fluid motion head. If you saw a little bit of a jerk in the motion, that was my fault. So you can, it does a really good job, I think, of side panning smooth liquid pan nice liquid tilt and for an inexpensive camcorder I think the, sh the shot is awesome now I'm going to take it off the tripod and just walk around a little bit with it
Okay, I guess that's gonna be enough for now.